Thank you. Uh, I'm not, of course, in favour of the European Union assuming the right to conclude treaties at all. However, I'll endeavour to look at the principles governing treaties about PNR objectively. The approach taken to weigh the two sometimes contradictory needs of privacy and security is essentially sound. People have a right to keep details of their lives confidential, but authorities have not only a right but a duty to safeguard the lives of their peoples. If only terrorists and serious criminals wore black hats and displayed sinister sneers, those two needs could be satisfied simultaneously. However, the Union does allow its own ideological inhibitions to get in the way of achieving the right balance. I can understand its reluctance to reveal unnecessarily information about people's origins or opinions. Where it has no connection or even correlation with terrorism, that inhibition is a healthy one. However, in an era in which a particular section of the population is disproportionately involved in terrorism, and that section might change, I see no objection against profiling of that population. Thank you.